Man, look at this sunrise, y'all. We got two boats out there, a Boston Whaler and a Catamaran. We're gonna go out on that, those today, split up the group by two. And we're gonna start the day fishing for Marlin. So let's get out there, that's what's in store for day two. is to go find a bait ball and hopefully the marlin are on the bait ball. Aldo is our captain today and he just jigged up some bait so we got the mackerel just like we do in Santa Cruz so here they are. Those things are so hardy they'll last all day. One marlin is all I need. Yesterday one guy hooked eight. We're about 10 miles out from the island. Today the marlin are about 12 miles out from the mouth of Mag Bay, which is over there. There's one side of the mouth and the other side is over there. We just came across a bunch of pongas and apparently they're making bait. So we're trying to get 20 mackerel so far. We have nine. This Boston Whaler is nice. I'm just here to give you guys the play by play and then let you know what we're using for bait, how we're gonna catch them and just share the experience with you. I had like all five on here, I think they pulled themselves off. Couple of good ones. Big swells out here right now. Probably like seven, eight foot, but it's really not as bad as we were expecting. We were expecting it to be way more windy. So totally doable, totally fishable. I think we're almost to the marlin. That's what we're looking for, signs of life. It's funny, the morning seemed to hit it a lot though too. And it's pretty good for water, so. Yeah. Well, a couple hours have passed. We've been trolling from Arlene. We've got six rods out. No bites yet. I guess it's not like the day before. So I'm just in here chilling. Everyone's outside still. What I'm thinking about now is going back in and fishing the mouth for yellowtail. I cannot wait for that. I've got this new reel that Outdoor Pro Shop sent to me. It's a 600 Valiant, an accurate reel. So big shout out to Outdoor Pro Shop in Roanoke Park. Thank you for sending that to me. I'm gonna put it to the test today. But for now, I'm just gonna chill, hang out. You know, I'm still feeling good. That Quell's seasickness medication is the best. I only have to take it one hour before I go out too. It's freaking the bomb. I feel amazing. I'm just resting in here. It's nice. certain that they're marlin so we're gonna come up on them I tried the last two times TJ's never caught a marlin before so he's about to give it a go we got live bait I think it's about to be on oh yeah I see him yep yep yep, yep, yep. Okay. you're ready Can you call TJ got it Here we go. I'm on. He's on. <laughs> <laughs> what the? 
What's it feel like? It feels like you hook a truck. I'm gaining on him, but oh. You're pulling him in. Get, get him now, because he's, he's wrapped somewhere. He's taking line. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. got like the line. Oh, no, he's no crazy runs, no zipping sideways, just heavy. Just a lot of, a lot of weight. Oh my God. Oh, you got the leader? Are you at the meter? Or is that, oh, that's, the leader no, is like eight, How many? hundred feet. Yeah, or eighty feet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Get off. Wind, wind up as I come. Wind up. I'm winding. I'm winding. Thank you, Toby. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's not even yours. Yeah. <laughs> that's a different one. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What is that? Oh. Dang, they were fighting that one for a good 20 minutes right at the boat, shook it off. Damn. But if apparently if you get it to leader, it counts as a catch. There's people who have caught 300 marlin. There's like marlin tournaments around here. You can catch like 300 of them somehow. I don't know how, but that doesn't sound very fun. I'm good with one. There's rooster fish. Running hard. Hey, they're gonna grab him. Okay, he's on, he's on, he's on. Oh, right, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, 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 no, no, yep. no, no, no. Get it all the way, all the way. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're on. We are on. All right. That's <laughs> not a seal, I hope. No, I don't think so. How do you fish the oh, bucktail? Okay. Oh, Dorado just did it. <laughs> yeah, I just got hit yeah, with Dorado. Maybe Dorado, not it. Oh, then yeah, cast the bucket. Cast it. Oh, the Dorado, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, oh, what is that? Dorado? Hell oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do Oh, man, this might fool me. I'm going to put the drag on tighter. Hell yeah. <laughs> is it a seal? There's no way you have a seal. It didn't jump, did it jump yet? Uh, no, I don't think so, no. It's a roll. It's a nice one, though, it's pretty nice. Thank you. Ate that one tail. That's cool. I see him right, right. there. I was like, oh, okay, those aren't Martin. Probably Gerardo. 
So one time out here on the ball, there were roosters. Really? Yeah. Oh my they god, I got a lot of line I'm to gain. I'm pretty sure I saw a rooster. I didn't buy that. I was like, I want Alex to gap this thing. Oh, yeah. I like gapping fish. Although I'm not used to those types of gaps. You want to gap it? Yeah. Big fish, probably the biggest one ever. I think my biggest is a halibut, 100 pounder, so this is most likely bigger. <laughs> but it is unusual that it has a gap. Burning. Oh. oh! These are fun. I guess we're never going to know. Damn. <laughs> I wonder if it broke off or spit it or what. Shoot, look how much line it took, too. Quick picture time. Quick picture, man. It's going to lose color real quick. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, dude. That's you. You might have found yourself a nemesis. Oh, man. I hope not. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, you still on. On the dead bait, too. Oh, Dang, that's weird. Oh! <laughs> that was crazy, just marlin after marlin. <laughs> That's weird why he kept coming off. You got that. It's weird how he kept coming off. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not this time. Yeah, there's really not much you can do, huh, TJ? No, it's just like solid. <laughs> like between both arms, my left arm is, is hurting more. That's why I feel like it makes more sense to pull it with the right, your right hand, uh, your strong arm. <laughs> yeah. It's coming in. It hasn't really jumped though. It jumped like once. Got leaders there. But it just keeps taking it. We got some leader on the spool now. Oh, he's taking it again. Get up here. This much before. Come on, baby. There he is. Get in here. This is all I need to brag. Just one, one, one small one. Just don't turn to me. Oh no. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. What should we do? Oh, is he wrapped up? No. He's not wrapped, is he? Okay, yeah, yeah. They're beautiful. Man, look at that thing. Woo, that thing is freaking massive. Yeah, if it's uh, too much, you don't gotta bring him in. Where can you go for the photo? Oh my god. 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 Oh my
Toby was telling us that Mag Bay and one other place are like the marlin capital of the world. Probably the best marlin fishing in the entire world at certain times of year. Like no, October, November, December is when it's best. So if you want to catch a marlin like this, just just catch one. I mean, you, I think you could keep them, but it's mostly catch and release. But Magdalena Bay, Mag Bay Lodge, that would be the place to go. a lot of line to get back. See, Jan's got one on. Hook one marlin, reel that one in, and then go find him again. And it's just like, whenever you find him, you got him. Now these are the type of trips, at least for me, that are amazing, but not fully appreciated in the moment. Catching a 120 pound marlin sure is a once in a lifetime experience for many people. But when you're out there with the bait balls, the birds, the double, the triple hookups, it's easy to get completely absorbed in your experience and only upon reminiscing of the trip does the magic truly come to life. It's one of those memories that gets stronger over time and more vivid as time goes on. Yeah, I might never catch another marlin, and that's all right, but now I have these memories and moments locked in my mind for whenever I want to think about them, and the best part is I experience them firsthand. So if there's anything that you want to do, go after it, because you might only get one shot, but once you do it, You'll have it forever. Oh man, why do we put ourselves through this torture sometimes, you know? Going home 12 miles an hour, it's gonna take two to three hours in the pounding wind, pounding waves. But it's all worth it, I guess. We just stopped for one more marlin and I'm gonna sleep. Day three coming up. What's in store tomorrow? I have no idea.